Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then make sure you hit that subscribe button now. Also hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. So today's video is Beat It Weft install. It's been a lot of um, this and also the micro links going on in the African American community. So here is a goodie for you guys today. The extensions I am using is by Yummy Extensions and here is all of the supplies that you will need for your install. So my client decided to go with curly bundles. Because she only wears her hair curly, she wanted to get something that mimics her natural hair. So you're gonna begin by um, doing a part from ear to ear in the back. I like to go with the same curve of the hair or of the head so that is what I'm gonna do going all the way up her head till I reach to the top um, and you want to make sure you measure it first leave about a half to an inch space right behind the ear of um, hair of the natural hair so that way you can um, you'll be able to cover up that track with the clients natural hair and you'll be able to pull up in a ponytail and you'll have a seamless look and it'll look very, very natural. I don't know if that made any sense to you guys, but I'm talking about right there next to the um, the area where I'm at now. You want to leave about a half to one inch space on that side and the other side as well. So make sure you measure accordingly. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that now. Hit the notification bell. And also, can you guys um, leave down in the comments section any future extension um, installs you guys are interested in seeing me do? Also, if you guys are on Instagram, go over and follow me at justmarie underscore hair studio. When doing the beaded weft, you want to um, make sure that you are taking a small section of the client's hair, a small section of the extensions together, and then looping it through the, um, the tool, the beater. And um, then you pull a bead all the way on there and you want to get that bead close to the root you don't want it to be pulling but get it as close as you can get it to that root because these beads do slide after a while um, especially if you're using oils and sprays and stuff like that on the hair it will eventually slide down um, and it won't be as um, tight as the the beginning of the install so you want to make sure that you are having it pretty snug to the person's head The one thing about these curly extensions is, oh my goodness, it got so big. I had to um, tame it with moisturizers and um, curling mousses and water and all sorts of stuff. The Hair by Yummy extensions does get really, really big. We ended up not even using um, all three bundles. We ended up using like one and a half or something like that. And it, um, it was pretty full. So here's a close up for you guys so you can see a little bit closer um, what I'm doing. Like I said before, I'm grabbing a small section of the client's hair and a small section of the extension. Um, you want to make sure you're not having it too big that it doesn't go through the loop. You still have to have it um, about the same diameter as the, the actual bead so it can be easily um, installed. So this install took me about five hours. 
um, because we ended up needing to color her hair first in the beginning and then she had to have it processed. Um, so it did take a bit. So make sure you guys are charging accordingly. If you guys do want more of a detailed video of how to do pricing and um, what you would need as far as um, the cost for your supplies and everything, just any type of details you guys want about this video, please make sure you comment that below and I'll do a second um, video for this tutorial. So that's it. This is actually perfect, this um, install. It looked so natural on her. The curl pattern matched so perfectly with her natural curl pattern. It just turned out really, really pretty. Um, I like this method, the beaded weft, because you don't have um, the braids. It gives you more of a natural look. You can pull it up in a ponytail. Um, I wouldn't recommend you doing too much tugging on it you do want to kind of wait before you are pulling it up in too many ponytails you don't want to wash it um for like the first week and just try to be as gentle as possible with it um i wanted to just kind of show you guys how to pull it up in a ponytail but she's gonna wear it down for at least a week before she pulls it up because it is a little a little tender not too bad like a sew-in would be but it is a little bit tender so make sure you guys are careful with that all right, beauties, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.